guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? Today, we're talking about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right. What is our subject for today? Our subject for today is when is the best time to sell? Okay, that's a good question. When is the good time? When is the best time to sell? It's a very simple answer. It's after you made a sale. Okay, you go, what? I said, when is the best time to make a sell? It's right after you make a sell. And let me tell you the reason why. Your momentum is in your on your side. Your mind is wrapped around your product. You're excited. You're, you're gung-ho. You've got this, this attitude like, I did it. I can't believe it. I did it. So don't give up. So when you get a sale, remember, when's the best time to sell something? It's right after you sell something else. So what you want to do in this regard is you, you've sold your product. Don't glory about it. Get a little excited. Tell your little friends a little bit about it and get right back into it. I mean, seriously, guys, I've seen some great salespeople, and I'm looking at myself, and I've been one of them, where I was out there selling, and I met my number. I got my last sale that I needed, and you know what? I stopped selling. Don't do it. I've done it before, and I'll tell you what. I'm making a video about it to remind you that, hey, once you're making a sale, your mind is more in, is more strong. It's like you're geared up. You're amped up. You're excited. You're able to have a better conversation. You're able to communicate better with your customers because the everything aligns and you can make a sale after a sale. I'll tell you what, I've made sales where I sold one product and I did really good and then I stopped selling. And on the other hand, I've sold a product and I said, man, this was pretty good. And the day was still there. So I kept selling and I sold another one, another one and another one. And by the end of the day, I had made my whole month's worth in one day. And you can do that too, because see, selling is an, it's a, it's a transference of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. If you're trying to make money out there, remember guys, selling is, is all about helping people feel good about what they're doing. They're purchasing and you've got to get out there and sell some. So if you're over the phone selling somebody and you're getting your sales on and everything, don't sit there right when you get off and cheer for an hour or two. Go ahead and relax and say, let me get back in here. Let me hit the grindstone. Let me get out here and make another phone call. Let me go ahead and get another one. Let me get another one. The same thing if you're going door to door. If you get a sale, don't sit there at the guy's house and hang out and smoke a joint with him or drink a beer with him. <laughs> that means that sounds good and all, but it don't work because see what happens is, is you could have sold the next door neighbor. And if you don't sell them, somebody else will. And when you've got a captive audience, ask if they're friends and family. Did you want one too? Did you like that? Would you know anybody who might like it? And see what you're doing is you're building upon a sale. You're excited. Remember our topic for today is what do you do? How do you get another sale? Or how do you get a sale? What's the best way to get a sale? It's to sell something and then sell another one, one after another. It works if you work it. You know, I've been in sales a long time, since the 80s, in one form or capacity. And I don't know everything, but I've learned these little tricks and things because I've been there. I'm a salesperson. I'm a real salesperson. I'll tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, the warts and all. And I'll tell you stuff that a lot of people, they don't talk about. When's the best time to sell something? Right after you sell something. It's that simple. It's not complicated. But see, as salespeople, we can make it complicated because, you know, we're those kind of people. We want to be, you know, want everybody to know how great we are and everything. The best way to let everybody know how great you are is to stack your paper. Uh, get your odds up. The more the more sales that you get, be that person who, you know, kind of the people who are number one in the top 10%. What do they do? They don't gloat right away. What they do is they keep stacking up their sales one after another and after another and they get to be known as the top producers and what they do that's different they don't just when they get a sale go oh, the whole day's done i don't gotta do nothing no they get back out there and they pick up that heavy phone and they start calling people they start selling to people and they work their uh, ass off okay i don't mean to kiss but i'm gonna tell you what it is a serious situation when's the best time to sell something it's right after you sell something so remember guys when you're out there selling stuff and you get a sale, be excited, bro. Be excited, girlfriend. Be excited. And remember, who's next? <laughs> who's next? Who's the next person that I can sell? Who's the next person I can knock on their door? Who's the next business I can call on? Who's the next? 
Because, see, what will happen is if you only get one sale, you get one commission. What if you sell one and you know that you can, you're all amped up, you're happy and everything, and you get another one? And what if you don't? What you're doing is you're building yourself up. I've worked in sales a long time. I sell something, and then I wouldn't sell nothing else. But, see, here's the thing. I planted seeds. I planted seeds. And people in management, upper businesses, they say, damn, this guy's really good, man. He's something about him. I mean, he really wants something. We were, And, see, you want to be that person. So get Get motivated. So when's the best time to sell something? It's right after you sell something. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy. I'm also your real estate sales guy. So give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my videos. Share all my videos. I got a whole bunch of them about everything there is to know about selling. Okay? It works if you work it, but you got to live it. Selling is a great career. And how do you make more money? You sell more. You keep selling. You keep selling. You keep selling. And eventually, you'll be in the top 10% and it works because it works. I've been there. I am a real salesperson. I told you I'd tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all, and all the stuff that's got to do with selling that nobody talks about. And this particular subject is a good one. When is the best time to sell something? It's right after you sell something. So get out there and sell something and don't stop selling. Go to the next one. You know, mediocre people stop at the first one or the second or the third one. The people that are true I'm telling the best. They keep working, man. They're always got another angle. And remember, I work seven days a week, so I'm always looking for that next sale. So when you sell something, remember our subject for today is selling. When is the best time to sell something? It's right after when you sell something. <laughs> okay, keep selling, guys. My name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy. Go ahead, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Check out all my websites and all my YouTube channels because I got comedies. I got uh, videos on how to be a real estate person and what it's like to be in real estate now every other sales aspect of every business i've been in all kinds of sales since the 80s so enjoy your day guys i hope you enjoyed the video remember when's when's the best time to sell something it's right after you sell something all right